Okay, so we're back in. Hello all. Hello all. Hello wall and door. We were, yeah, we had to finish quite on a quick note last time because Scarlett and I were making tonkotsu ramen from scratch and it had been bubbling for over 24 hours. And uh, it was time to eat it. And it was delicious, actually, in the end. Um, we need to make a couple of changes here and there, but it was our first ever time and it was... It was great. So now we're all fat and lovely and burping up a treat. <laughs> but we're in, and we've got two diplomats free. We should probably do something with one of them. But before we get back into uh, anything with the war, I'm just going to send to improve relations with Norway. Just to keep, yeah, them, great idea. keep them on our side. Because their opinion went down of us a while ago, didn't it? Hmm. So, we were fighting against East Frisia, we just knocked Verdun out and taken Dithmarschen for ourselves, which is now Dithmersken. <laughs> yep, Dithmersken, as it Dithmersken. Oh, that, that looks... Uh, we've got the whole peninsula there, haven't we? I just wonder if now, old Mr. Emperor will hate us. No, I was thinking he would hate us for having that land. Because that's, mm. that's de jure empire land, isn't it? I reckon he'll be asking it, us for it back soon. Could be interesting. Oh! <gasps> yes! Oh! oh! Finally! If there was oh, anyone... I knew it was worth it. If there was anyone who was doubting us... Because, in fairness, I sort of half had little doubts in my mind. Oh, but so did that I. that is just brilliant. I mean, they don't like us. Excellent stuff. But, hey... We're allied yeah. to one of their rivals. Oh yeah, Bohemia. Bohemia. <laughs> oh, how are we going to play all of them? <laughs> well, so Poland. I think this is, this is playing into like Poland are Catholic and Bohemia are Protestant. I think this is going to play a big role. Ah, yes. Um, especially after we join the the Protestant League. Mmm. How's that going? Get bogged down in that. Wow, there's loads of people. Bohemia is yeah, the leader yeah, of the Protestant League. Everyone's in there. Muscovy's in the Protestant League. Oh shit, we'd be um, on the same side as Muscovy! Aragon. Oh, uh, why is Muscovy in the Protestant League? Are they. No, they're uh, Orthodox. Oh, well, they're Orthodox, so I guess they've just. Just anti Catholic, right? Yeah, I suppose. Yeah, they well, are almost as, entirely Orthodox. Apart from as I learned in some... the YouTube videos I watched about 30 Years' War. It started as a, a mainly pure oh, yeah. Protestant Catholic thing, and it developed into something that was really just more about uh, national politics. Yeah. <laughs> Look at Brittany over here, sitting just a little <laughs> little oasis of reformed in a massive desert yeah. of Catholic. Quite right. Let's hear it for Brittany. Yeah, well, we don't... You know, reformed, all well and good, but, you know, Protestantism, come on. Right. Are you seeing just in, in that in that Holy Roman M interface where you can hover over the Protestant League to click it? Yes. Mine says shortcut escape. Yes, same for Catholic League. Pressing escape will have us join the Protestant League. <laughs> I think because we can't join either of them, therefore the shortcut is just, just escape and leave your war. <laughs> <laughs> Which is slightly odd, but yeah. Something like a bug, I think. But should we consider a couple of things then? So first of all, making states. Should we get this done? Yeah. What's our state limit now that we're, you know, huge? Uh, it's in stability and expansion, isn't it? Oh, crap. Okay, so 15 states. <laughs> and we've got how many? Uh, 12. Oh, so only three more we can have. Yeah. Well, there are four that we have I don't all know how... the provinces of. How do we... And then there are an, another four that we only partially hold. Yeah. Oh, we... we, we... Alright, so technology lets us get more um, government rank, things like that. Okay, fine. Um... Should we just pick three at random of the ones that we completely control? Uh, yeah, yeah. Um, I think probably the ones that are going to be best for us money-wise... Um, so the ones with states. the highest state income? Yeah. Uh, if you keep clicking on the blue flag, it will keep taking yeah, you through I'm them. Yeah, cycling through them. So, so the best one is Vastosverland. Oh, sorry, yeah, Vastosverland. So let's do that so one. So I'll grab that. Lovely. What's that? 
if state of Vistra Svealand can become prosperous, it would get the following benefits, and so on and so forth. Oh yeah, and edicts. Oh, well, when we're at peace, we can play around with that. <laughs> this one's <clears> 93, Ustra <throat> Svealand. Yep. Good. I'll yep. take I'll that. Click through and that. then one more, we think. We could choose just Finland, because it's Finland. <laughs> I suppose. Ah, it's not profitable, <laughs> Might is not it? be a... Oh, so this one... So this Helsinger land, which is Norland. Oh, it says we have four out of four, but I can only see one. Norland. Oh, no, sorry, I'm being an idiot. Ignore me, ignore me. Okay. Yeah, that's Helsinger land, Jokmok, <laughs> Lapland, and Vesterbotten. Nice. I love that we have Sweden now. Yeah, I'm. I, I think the names have got funnier now that we've <laughs> Danish versions of the Swedish names. <laughs> Jokmok, I, yeah. I think that we've yet less silly before. <laughs> be interesting to see what, what happens with all the uh, Norwegians. Anyway, all the rabid <laughs> viewers are getting very cross with us because, well, probably partly because we have unrest in, like, every province. Oh my god, we've got five different rebel factions starting to climb up. <laughs> The Dithmarsha Separatists coming up quite fast, but also um, we've got this war to win. Mm. We're currently doing absolutely nothing about it, so let's let's carry on, try and get this bloody siege done. Forty-nine percent. Come on. There we <laughs> go. <laughs> right, end of the episode. Thanks for watching, everyone. Six hundred and sixty-two days. That's insane. Right. What, two years? Yeah. They really hung on, didn't they? Okay, so looking at the war screen, East Frisia are now on a low war enthusiasm. So I 10%. <laughs> we control all their territory. Oh, we're against Britain as well. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Um, which is why uh, we want to get out of this as soon as bloody quick. As soon as bloody possible. <laughs> yes, good one, Steve. Well as said. As soon as bloody quick. Uh... Uh, yeah. Yeah, so it's okay. I mean, maybe, maybe we could knock Frankfurt out first. Um, let's have a look. Demand trip. So if I click on Frankfurt, peace target. Oh. Uh, so we can march straight through yeah. to Frankfurt and just lay siege to their place, which, <laughs> mm. which Norway's already doing. Oh, brilliant. <laughs> them. Um, um, I kind so of I think let's not have... push it. You know, yeah? Britain... <sighs> We could do. Uh, br oh, Britain's out of their war. No, let's wow. finish this pretty quickly. Um, what happened? I mean, what can we do with ten percent war score? Who's France part of? Personal union with Castile. They must have lost it. Oh crap! Oh god! If the if the British are marching up here, we're screwed. Yeah, what can we do with ten percent war score? Interesting. Hadn't considered this. Hmm. Let's Friesland. They have, we have minus 77 <laughs> reasons for them accepting this. <clears throat> yeah, mostly based on yeah, well, the result in their complete annexation. Shit. Um, okay, this is, this is an interesting development, I've got to say. Maybe it would be worth knocking Frankfurt out, then. We can't yeah, knock British Columbia out. Frankfurt. Yeah. Like, British Columbia. Yeah, it would just <laughs> sail to uh, the other side of North America. <laughs> we could try and take London. <laughs> that would that would piss off Britain to an extent. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> I know. It'd be kind of exciting. Ah, uh, I, but, I uh, don't know what we do. How the hell do we get this? Well, Britannia rules the waves. I, I so I think <laughs> yeah. we could. Well, we first of all, I'm sending my ships inland. Yeah, so I think we should mark. I think hmm. the minimum, uh, like minimum prop, uh, a low risk solution <laughs> would be march down to, uh, to that country, Frankfurt. Yeah. Start laying siege to the fort. Um, do, just do that for a bit. Yeah. And if the British turn up with a giant army that we can't handle and start kicking our asses, then we can just, peace just take out. a take a white piece or yeah. as much as we can get 
that. But that from now on, we've got the war goal, so we're going to be ticking up. Yeah. And getting stronger and stronger, and their war exhaustion will go up, and it, we'll, there's a lot That's more true. That we can get if That's we don't true. peace out now, and we're, we're not under any threat right at the moment. No. Nope. No, that's fair. I think that's absolutely fair. So I say fair. we march straight down there with everything we've got. Yeah. So <laughs> find anyone else that we bully. Uh, we could Calais if we, uh, as you say, we could go to London and try messing around with ships. But I'm nervous. Calais and Normandy, so be... yeah. Yep, uh, Calais and Normandy, indeed. All right. Uh, yeah. If we can march, I don't know if we can. Oh, we've got those guys up in Osterbutton, haven't we? That need to come back down and join the fray. Are you sending... Who are you sending them to? Oh, right, yeah. Um, yeah. I'm just experimenting to see where they can go. It looks like they can march straight through to Calais. Cool. Um, I'm not sure why suddenly all of these countries we can just go through. Hmm. Um, if we grab an army and... Cleves gives access to the Danish enemy East Frisia. Munster gives access to the Danish enemy, East Frisia. Okay, so because East Frisia is... Oh, they're not part of the Empire, though, are they? Burgundy gives but access to the Danish enemy, France. Frankfurt. Yeah, so it's because we've got various different enemies and stuff. It just propagates across the land, I suppose. Fair play. <clears throat> yeah. I've got to keep an eye on these disasters. Um. Oh, my God. So the nobility control 11% of state development and it expects to control... Oh, of course, because of the huge increase in land we just got. <laughs> Suddenly the clergy want 2% extra land and the nobility need an extra 4%. Oh, and this is why we don't have a looming disaster anymore. Right. Well, it was looming, wasn't it? But Yeah, but not anymore. Now it's not ticking up any low influence now. Oh, interesting, yes. Right, well, we should, we should probably sort that out sooner than later, shouldn't we? Um, estates. Okay, Sounds so... Good. The clergy need another 2% influence. Now, what was it the clergy do? The clergy give you... So the burghers are money, and the nobility are manpower. The clergy must be sort of... taxation and... Um, yeah, that makes sense. So, the one with the highest... Taxation would be best. Um, okay, so it's any green province. <clears throat> there you go, two and a half. Let's give them uh, whatever one that is. The one Nordjylland. Because it's got three of the first type of development. Which I think is better for the clergy. <laughs> National tax. Uh, yeah, tax. Yeah, it's got three it tax. And it will give them 2.5% land or influence is that and increase their percentage of land by 1.7 okay so that won't be yep. enough and their loyalty by 1.7 yes we want yeah, okay. to increase so we need to give them more than that then um, okay so we could give, a, give them that and something else <clears throat> yeah or we could just find another one that would give them more percent ah how about this well they need at least 10 then do they Yes. So if you hover over Genga, for example. Yeah, I see. Uh, percentage of land by 2.2% two, two to 10.2%. Oh, so that's enough. That'll be enough. <laughs> so let's do that. Uh, oh, um, oh, you've done it. Done it. Okay, cool. Sadly, they're Looming now... Looming disaster. <laughs> yeah. Um, however, I'm sure we can get that done. That's fine. And then yeah. the nobility... They need some land, but they've got crappy influence, so they should be fine. All right, the nobility is more about manpower, so if we've got any ones that have more manpower than others, then yippee, otherwise it doesn't really matter. No, they're all about uh, the same, aren't they? This is the, the third number there. Yes. Ooh, how about yeah. Heilsingland? Or I mean, oh, Stockholm. Has six. Stockholm has 14. Oh, no, it has to be a green one, does it? Yeah. 14, oh my goodness. Their influence wouldn't go too high, but their percentage of land would be absolutely brilliant. Great. Then again, we could make a lot of money by giving that to the clergy, but they're too high already. Mm. Screw it, let's just yeah. give it to Stockholm. Let's give Stockholm to them. That'd be good. Cool. I'd like to do it this time. 
Okay, so nobility. Nobility. Stockholm. Enjoy. Wow, look how loyal they are. Goodness gracious. Okay, so that's fine. Uh, we won't worry about the clergy quite yet because they had only just started their disaster, so it's going to be years yet. Oh, no, 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 sorry, I'm looking at the wrong clergy. I was looking at religious turmoil. Oh, yeah, there's two, what the hell's, two looming disasters. What the hell's religious turmoil? When did that happen? Hmm. Is, so, is it... Oh, we've got bad religious unity. Yeah, it seems we, to be. Oh, it's probably because half of our country's still Catholic. Yeah. Okay, well, we're sorting that out. Dominance of the we clergy are. is going to happen on the 1st of May... Nine. <laughs> Don't know what that means. Oh, 1559. Right, we've got five years yeah. to worry about it. Let's just ignore it for now. Did you just see nine? Yes, it just had nine until I unpaused <laughs> it. Right, anyway, let's let's unpause this game because I'm spending too long paused. Sorry. I keep pausing it and then sitting there. What are we doing? Right, we're sieging that down. That's good. Yeah. Where are our other guys? Why aren't they marching to Norway? Uh, Normandy. Calais. Uh, oh, yes, they are. Some of them are. <gasps> Oh, uh -oh. There's, a, there's a... What's happening here? It's going to be us versus 5,000 Brits. Okay, so the Brit... We look like we're in the same place. Yeah, we do. Oh, no, we, oh, so we're no, both moving oh, to each other's moving places. Each other. So we want to stop, right? So that we can be the defender. We are locked, sadly. Oh, are we? I think Actually. so, yeah. Oh, no. Yes, we are, yeah. Um, but that's okay. Right, so, I mean, we can take them with the guy we have there, but shall yeah. I bring a couple of extra from the siege just to make sure we can? Uh, if they're not doing any good in the siege, yeah. So we need ten regiments in the siege. Bloody hell, it's a level three fort. It's going to take ages. So we need ten regiments there. We've got the incorrect leader. Fuck's sake. We need the leader with the siege thing. Although the Dane... Although the... Norwegian leader has a siege thing, so that'll be okay. Right, okay, how many people we got here? Norway have 4,000, we have 16,000. So we need 10,000. So I can break off 10,000, right? I think so. I think. Ugh, a horrible route. Okay, yeah, we're good. <laughs> I mean, we're probably going to be too late for that battle, but I'd like to make sure we have enough people there, just in case Britain sort of reinforces with huge people. We've lost the Siege of Königsberg. What? Oh, <laughs> All the way over there. 2,000 Frankfurters over there. Ah, oh, we should probably probably take care of them. Mm. Well, we've got these oh. 12,000. Should we redirect them? I guess we could do, yeah. All right. <laughs> oh, my God, that's ridiculous. You see that route? <laughs> They oh go god, through Austria. Through <laughs> Burgundy, Switzerland, <laughs> Austria, Poland. <laughs> uh, There's a sightseeing talk. They're crossing the Alps to get there. Let's get them on the boats, shall we? <laughs> yeah, get them on the boats. Good call. Britain's nowhere near, so yeah. I'll send the Navy. Cool. Yeah, you It's gonna be a lot, lot of um pausing <laughs> here. Oh look, there's another four thousand <laughs> piling in on our battle. No! It's four thousand piling in on a battle they're not going to win. Brilliant. <laughs> Great. <clears throat> You're right, Mr. Typey. I don't know, it's so loud. Oh no, it's alright. I don't mind now, just wondering what the hell you can be typing. Surely you're concentrating entirely on the game and not messaging I'm your little friends on armies. MSN Messenger. The the armies have to be named. Memel. Has come under control of Frankfurt. Those bloody Frankfurters. They're pissing me off. Right. Let's get these guys on the boat and send them over there. I'll sort them out right and proper. <clears throat> I'm not paying any attention to what's happening down in siege land currently. I dee -dee 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 -dee. So... Britain's nightmare uh, laying sea to Calais. Britain's nightmare. <laughs> the, the siege kings are still oh, yeah. doing well in Frankfurt. They're at 0%. Oh, I think the siege stars. 
Siege Stars and Norway's second army. Who's our fighting army over here? The Swedish Short Snouts. Oh, you'll need to capitalise that. Right, you are. Snort sh Short Snouts. Hang on, is that a Harry Potter reference? There, is that <laughs> Yes, it is. It's the name of one of the dragons they fight in. I thought so. The of Fire. I want to smash <laughs> these Frankfurters, to be honest. Okay. So they're not all dead. Where are they running to? Sort of running down this way. Well, we need to go this way anyway to sort out Memel. Memel, Memel, whatever. Oh, we're yep. going to have Frankfurt soon. Yeah, no problem. Great. Um, I'm doing Calais and Normandy separately, uh, just because I don't want to split off into tiny little right, we armies them. that can't handle themselves. Well done. Lovely. Uh, and just... yes, it seems like our, our war score is going down. Or well, it's just because they've... 8%. Oh, Konigsberg is a big... Yeah, they're getting six war score for that. Jesus. Let's go and blockade it then. Um, although yeah. the English... Oh my god, the British are landing in Norway. Oh, this is all we need. Oh, dear me. 8.4 be... thousand though, we can do that. Oh yeah, absolutely. Once we've taken Königsberg back, though, right? Yeah, yeah. Bastards. Oh, who's this army? Oh, it's 2,100 Brits. Where are they going? Hessen. Where are these 2,100 Brits? Just north of Frankfurt. Oh, they're ah. just mucking around down there. They'll be all right. Do we know what what are they doing? Britain's army is like army country. G -g -g Great Britain. Um, total twenty eight thousand five hundred and five. Uh oh, but we outnumber them. They've got a superior yeah. navy, but yeah. So I don't know about you. I always that army uh, index thing. Uh, sorted by total, you can click on the, the column name to uh, sort it. Yeah. And that's a, a very quick way to see sort of who the big players are. Good thinking. And yeah, we're well ahead of them. Well, that's Frankfurt done. Um, at low war enthusiasm, we could probably knock them out. Oh, we've got no diplomats to send. Let's bring back that guy from the Ottoman Empire, shall we? Um, I'm going to send the, the siege stars over to Normandy. Or Lovely. actually maybe we should, Ooh. maybe we should send them up to Norway. Uh, yeah, that could be a good idea because the other guys, the short snouts, are gonna be stuck up there for a while. I yeah. think. They're on their way. Cool. And we, if we can take out that British army and Cleves on the way, that'd be superb. Oh where's Cleves? I see it. Yeah, okay, so I'm I'm following their every move. Cool. I'll see what I can do. Um, I'm going to keep an eye on that British Navy as well up in Shetland, coast of Shetland, because they're heading down into the Norwegian Sea, and I'm worried that they're going to come and try and smash our blockading yeah. shippies. So we actually have a, a bigger... Oh, come on. Sorry. Um, we actually have a bigger Navy than Britain. Um, I think that's deceptive. I think they've got better stuff than we have. I lost the, I lost the, the people in Cleves there. Running, giving me the run around, so I'm yeah. just gonna head Ooh, up to Norway. Shit, let's head to East Frisia. The East Frisians have returned from God knows where the hell they've come from. Oh yeah, oh, and I'm on it. are trying to take that back, which we do not need. We're at twenty percent war score. This is good. Oh, we got the diplomat back. Should we try and knock out Frankfurt? Yeah. Well, hang on. Clear offer. We want Ostfriesland. Okay, because I'm just thinking with our extra war score. We might be able to get more from... No, that's not how it works, is it? Uh, what are you talking about? Right, so I'm thinking I want to knock out uh, Frankfurt, right? Yeah. But if we do that, we've well, got a certain amount of war score against them. Yeah, um, exactly. So we, we would lose what we have against them when we're trying to negotiate with East Frisia. Yeah. But then again, so... Frankfurt, but I don't, I don't know how East Frisia weighs that up, whether they weigh it up as, oh, we've lost an ally from our war, that's terrible, or, oh, 
our ally is no longer occupied, therefore we're a bit more comfortable in staying in. Does that make sense? Yeah. So I, I, yeah, so I don't know the, whether keeping Frankfurt whether... occupied or knocking them out would be better. I feel like keeping Frankfurt occupied would be better because at the moment they're thinking it's going really badly and the, the only ally we've got is someone we actively sort of have to help because we, we've knocked them out of the actual fighting, haven't we? Yeah. Um, Frankfurt. So I, I think they're better as like a bargaining chip that we've got. Okay. I, I think like certainly our yeah. war school would go down if we if we knocked them out now. Hmm. If we negotiated a separate piece, I mean. Okay. This way we can put all of our demands into claiming things from East Frisia, and who, who knows, maybe even Britain, um, and none of it's <laughs> on getting stuff from Frankfurt. Don't really have anything we want anyway. Yeah. Except, I guess, war reparations or something. I'm not sure how we're going to do this without knocking Britain out entirely. Oh, well, just... slowly we'll get more and more from holding Ostfries land and mm. then it's done, right? But they don't have an army that can match ours, so long as no. we stay out of the sea, I think we're fine. Oh, so maybe war score will help that then. Because I'm just looking at the, their reasons for not accepting the peace deal for us taking Ostfries land, right? So they've got would result in East Frisia's annexation or vassalization minus 86. Um, so that sucks. And I don't think that's ever going to go away. So we need to somehow <laughs> get up higher than that. Mm. Um, oh, well, no, it's it's interesting. I think we're, we're still on top here. We just need to sort out Britain rampaging around Norway. Yeah. Because that's and really annoying. the more annoying. big battles we can win, the better, right? Yeah, for sure. So I'm... Oh, the... What are they doing, those Frisians? Uh, I'm on it. You're on it. Good. On it like a bonnet. <laughs> so oh, it's going Ernst into... Yule. He's our good guy as well. Yeah, he knows what he's doing. Oh, what's that? Peace offer from Frankfurt. What do they offer? War reparations and 240 ducats. <sighs> nice. And we get two prestige. I mean... We've just argued against that, right? Yeah. I, I think still we stick sort to of our guns. Yeah. I still sort of think that we because hmm, our <laughs> war score because that war score is specifically against Frankfurt. How much um, uh, Yeah, but well no, this is this is war score that factors right. into Yeah, Frankfurt occupied uh, by Denmark twelve point seven. So it's actually yeah. more than Ostfriesland, except for the fact that Ostfriesland is ticking for us. Yeah. It can tick 21.8 more war score. Oh, there's a, a cap, is there? According to this arrow, yeah. Oh, I see. Hmm. So then we'd be at 41.8, even without anything else. Yep. But aside from that, we're going to be taking a whole load of uh, a whole load of other we're going to beat their armies and we're going to get our Norwegian yeah. territories back and all, all right. that. I've kicked decline for now. Excellent. Put it down to speed two so we can chase that freaking army. They're just giving us the runaround, aren't they? They really are. Ugh. Right. We're getting getting lots of people. A, a battle. Great. There we are. So we got a penalty. River crossing penalty. Two penalties. Whatever. Yuck. <laughs> Come on, seriously. <laughs> Just can take it. Since we are looking for a more disciplined army, our commandants, commandants hmm. are working hard at making sure our troops are drilled to perfection. One man in particular shows real promise. Very good. We gain a commandant. Discipline plus five. Uh, is that an advisor? Yes, I think it is. I wish they would tell us. Commandant, yes, discipline plus five. Voldemar Jensen. Might not be bad having oh, one of those at the moment, actually. Getting us the extra power, but also five discipline. I mean, looking at the current battle we have, our overall discipline of our armies is 105% discipline, and the enemy is 100% discipline. 
So, I mean, being able to up <laughs> that by an extra 5%, I don't yeah, know what it literally hurts. means, but... And uh, we're not dying for money at the moment, are we? Well, we've still got loans. We're still in debt. Yeah. Not by much, but by something. Um, I wouldn't want to... To sort of waste money on something we didn't need. I mean, we our armies are are far better at the moment. Yeah, we've got tons of manpower. If we do lose a few men, mm. oh, maybe not tons. <laughs> can I can I get Voldemar Jensen? He's great. <laughs> oh, fine. Yay! Thank you. <laughs> I know you love your advisors. I do. There you go. Extra five percent discipline. Oh crap! Oh, I almost retreated then. I remember <laughs> I did that once before. Right. Oh, yeah. Let's watch this. So it's meanwhile, we've got tablet. another 2,000 about to walk into our trap. Hmm, yeah, trap. Well, about to march in and die. I hope so. Yeah, no problem. It's pretty matched so far. Ah, oh, half a march away. Now. Brilliant. Good. So... I'm not going to follow them. I'm just going to keep an eye out on everywhere else. The British fleet is nowhere to be seen. The British bloody army is trashing us. What, in Norway? Yeah. Well, they're now in Agushus, sadly. Well, wait till they meet the siege stars. <laughs> We've nearly taken Königsberg back as well. You know, tell the Norwegians you know to what? be supportive. We need to make sure some of our forts are on, I think. Mm-hmm, yes. Because Königsberg has been a pain in the ass um, for that reason. Let's just turn all <laughs> our forts on so we don't yeah. have any of this problem. Okay. Cool. I'm slightly worried about the East Frisian armies running around. I don't want them to siege back East Frisia. Because if I they manage to think... get that back just in like the nick of time... so long to do that, we'll, we'll be on them. And they've I got so, so few men. Yeah. Oh, that's a good point. They need at least, what, 3,000 in there? Yeah. Oh, defenders. Oh, no. Wall breach in Königsberg, I think. Yeah, wall breach. Ha ah. ha. Oh, Norway. What are you doing? <laughs> they, the Norwegians have attacked far too early. Oh, I saw them <laughs> marching around there. I thought they were just going to march around and try and take some places back. Well, let's recall that diplomat. <laughs> yeah. You'd already clicked that, hadn't you? Old Norway. Ooh! Okay. Ooh! <laughs> <laughs> so, just in the... I, I'm always jumping all over the place in this game. In the subjects <laughs> tab, so where we see Norway uh, yeah. and used to see Sweden, ha ha ha, there's an enforce religion uh, button. Ah. Oh. Where it forces them to become Protestant, but changes their liberty desire by 50%. By 50%? <clears throat> which is huge. Um, but... <laughs> I mean, what's no, I mean, their... Maybe. What is it at the moment? It says 0%, but it can't go below 0%. So if they added 50 on, would they be at, you know, 30 or something? Well, that would <clears> cancel <throat> out historical friends with Denmark. Oh, yeah. So it would be... What was it? 10? be like 17%. Oh, that's all right. Should we do it? Maybe not during the war. Well, they've already taken themselves out of the war, haven't they? <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't. I don't need them mucking around at this stage. Oh yeah, we don't want them leaving. <clears throat> no. Although it's only at fifty percent that it all goes wrong, right? Yeah, they are and <clears throat> rebellious if their liberty desire is over fifty percent. Yeah, but I don't know what else it'll change that it hasn't told us about. Yeah, I don't know. fine. Now's not the time. Yeah, play it safe. <laughs> Now's not the time for another divisive referendum. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, don't. Sorry. <laughs> I got through an entire hour without thinking of... <laughs> that shambles. It uh, looks like Norway and um, Britain are marching down to see us. So that's yeah. good. That'll give us a time for a reinforcement tick as well. Yeah, it's looking nice. Where are they going so we'll to? We'll go to ba and then see what they're... Yeah. Yeah. And Bahuslan has got a fort, so they'll have to stay there. The Burgers. Right to bypass Completed trade restrictions has expired. Their influence is now 57%. Fine. Rival of our rival. Oh, we've made Castile like us enough. Yay. Five prestige, 25 diplomatic power. Where was that diplomatic power earlier? That's what I say. 
New mission, conquer somewhere in Poland. <laughs> <laughs> oh, are you joking? Is it telling us to conquer an actual Polish province there? Either, either Poland or <laughs> Christiana and Lubeck, which would be... <laughs> Let's not take a Muscovy mission for and... now, shall we? Yeah, no, screw that. Ooh, ooh, ooh! Ooh! So, <laughs> in that menu, uh, on that Good screen, menu. missions and decisions... Oh, yeah. Go to policies. Policies. Add policy. Oh, yeah. The cloth <laughs> quality edict, Michael. Ensuring better oh, quality been... of the cloth offered in the market. I've been dying for the cloth quality edict. Trade efficiency right plus now. 20% with no yeah. downside, right? It doesn't say it's going to cost us anything. <clears throat> I don't think. No, I think it's just that we get one policy of each category. Yeah. Right? I'd have thought so. Screw it, I'm clicking it. Yeah. Ah, will cost one diplomatic power each month, and it has to be active for at least ten years before it can be repealed. Hmm. One We've got diplomatic, a lot of diplomatic power. power. No. Oh no, That's sorry, our not weakest. diplomatic power. Yeah, no, I'm looking at the wrong one. <laughs> um. Right. One diplomatic power a month for an extra twenty percent trade efficiency. What did we make on trade last month? Five. Uh, trade efficiency is at eighty percent. So an extra 20 would take us to plus 100%, so we'd have doubled. Our, well, let's not call it that. Um, so last month we got 19.93 from trade. Hmm. Adding an extra 20% trade efficiency. I don't know if it completely adds 20% onto that. Something like... So a ducat a month. Five gold a month. 20%. Oh, sorry, yeah. <laughs> five ducats a month would be quite good. It wouldn't be bad, would it? If if that's the case. Should we just do it and we can repeal it after yeah. 10 years if we hate it? <laughs> yeah, we have to wait 10 so years. It's only 10 years. Uh, we are on four, aren't we? Diplomatic power. Well, here, I don't know why we haven't done Repealed this Repealed that bloody diplomatic relation, the military access. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oldenburg, we've, we've had it with Oldenburg. Completely get rid of that. So long, Oldenburg. Yeah, cancel Go military on. access. Good. Well done. I'm doing it too. Yeah, quite yeah. right. Remove it twice. Okay, well, that's good. So that's, and that's... we'll spend that one on, on yeah. this, this crazy thing. Right, yeah. I've done it. Clicked. Brilliant. Click. So, last month we got, what, 8.58. Eight Eight. That's gone down. Well, because we're reinforcing our troops. Um, eight and a half, and, and we'll see what we get next month. Forts as well. That's true. Lithuania. I thought better of you. Right, should we? Uh, so, march on in. Yeah. Now we're, uh, we don't want to cross a river, do we? So not <laughs> through, not from Elsborg. Should we do that? Yes. Why not? Oh, we could go from Dal. Is that? Oh no, that's not a river, is it? Nah. Uh, Sorry, I'm on the simple terrain mode. It's lovely. So much easier than regular terrain mode. Uh, oh, so I'm, see I'm looking at terrain here. Um, if, that'll be in geographical map modes. Yeah, you might just be able to Ooh. press that one again and it'll oh, take that's you That's good. Yeah, but yeah. It's so useful. it tells you where the rivers are. And you can see it a lot easier. A lot of rivers. There are, yeah. They all seem to run along borders. Anyway. I've heard that... that about how there are, there are technically no rivers in Denmark. Have you heard of that? No. Something like the Danish word for river, there, there's a difference between, like, we have a river and a brook and a stream, and they're yeah. all slightly different, and the, the standard translation of river in Denmark means something that's so big that there aren't any in Denmark. <laughs> I like that. <laughs> it's one of these bizarre QI things that no one quite understands. <laughs> <Yeah. clears throat> Well, the good, th good news is we've got a wall breach in Calais and a wall breach in uh, Königsberg, so it's looking pretty that nice at the news. moment. Um, 22% war score, Great Britain's war enthusiasm is going down. Slowly. Frankfurt's obviously low. I'm surprised that British Columbia is still so high, because they're so far away, I'd, I'd have thought they'd be annoyed. Well, anyway, let's carry this on. <laughs> I want this fight. I want to win this fight. We should win this fight. Yeah, it's not going to be a, an obvious easy one. No. I feel good about it. 
Nice. Definitely outnumber them. And Speed two. Be... Oh, and they started on fairly low morale. Yeah. Oh, look at that. They get the river crossing penalty. Oh, lovely. Or the oh, here terrain. comes Norway. <laughs> yeah. Another peace offer from Frankfurt. Another peace I'm offer. Auto declining. No. It. Yep. Just right click that mother. Yes. Okay. Seed. Fantastic. Good Königsberg. <clears throat> I'm going to just march... No, I'm not. I'll get the ships in. <clears throat> and then they'd probably be useful to have... Where do you think? Probably over by... Um, sort of in the middle of Denmark, right? So they can sort out any people in uh, the Empire. So we can sort out yeah. Frankfurt or East Frisia if it goes wrong. Yeah, good call. Yeah, but... Yeah. Edgar Somerset. Fuck you, you toffee-nosed prick. <clears throat> Excuse me, sorry. I'm just going to mark it after these guys. Sounds good. Oh. Oh. Oh, I'm so <laughs> sorry. <laughs> You're right, I, I saw Nor... I've just cancelled our movement and started it again. I saw <laughs> Norway, and I thought that that was them. Too many cooks. Wondering how. Yeah, yeah, that's... Yeah. I'll let you control them. Hit pause whenever you want. Thanks. Tiorad is Protestant. Great. The more Protestantism that comes up, the better, really. Yeah. Our missionary great. in Elfsborg is coming along nicely. Swedish separatists could rise up anywhere. Catholic zealots could rise up in Elfsborg, but by the time the missionary's gone, that should be fine. Gosh, there's a lot more to think about now we're at war, isn't there? Hmm. Looming disaster. Yeah, we've still got that to worry about. Just improving relations with Poland, because why not? Why not indeed. Oh, we're going to smash these Brits. I don't know where they're running to. Presumably one of the places that they've sieged. <clears throat> Calais has fallen, Michael. My yes. Lord. My Lord. What are we doing with that? We don't even have a sodding cannon in there. <laughs> That's bad. Right, I'm sending over the other guys as well. I'll just leave this stuff to you. <laughs> yeah, cool. That would have made that siege go a lot faster. Ooh, six and a half thousand East Frisians marching into East Frisia. Let's take them out, shall we? Yeah. Oh, they're running for it already. <clears throat> yeah. Um, I half want to buy a general, another general. How... Just because we've got so many armies at the moment. So, yeah, pretty much. <laughs> How do you feel about that? I feel like there's always the really fun option. Which is? Make a general out of your ruler. Are we not one? Don't think so. No, well, we've got a new ruler since back then, haven't we? Oh, yeah. King Maximilian I is not currently. Oh, well, that doesn't hurt, does it? Let's just do it. Yeah. Click that button. Bam. Ooh, hello. Oh, hello. He's a boss. Oh, he is being in charge of the Swedish short snaps then. <laughs> God save our Oh my God, three, two, two, two. That's an absolutely <laughs> brilliant leader. What a legend. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, oh you we'll watch, we're going to die well next, five next year. Or next day we're going to die, aren't we? I really want to kill these bloody Frisians. Where are they going? Puddleborn. All right, well, let's go and catch them, shall we? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Stop, uh -oh. stop, stop. Uh-oh. I think we're... Oh, what did I just click off? Oh, Poland are attacking us. Polish conquest of Königsberg. War. Oh, My king, need. the bastards in Poland declared war upon us. Prepare for battle. They cite conquest as their CB. Okay, then. Poland and Lithuania. So no one else, which is good. Um, can we call Norway into this? Uh, Norway, Bohemia. A call to arms. Um, Already called to one of the active one wars. One of the active wars? We didn't call them to the, the other one. Oh. Poland. No, they're rivals with Bohemia. Maybe we just need to wait a day or something. Yeah. Oh, yuck. I don't like this. So Give us a day. How are we looking... Well, before I do, um, how are we looking with their troops? Poland, well, 38,000. Lithuania, exactly the same. Oh, so no, that's going to be... So there's something else before, 
before you unpause, yeah, um, there's something else <laughs> to think about. Shit. This don't panic. Okay. I'm in Normandy. Norman. <laughs> okay. So there's a British army in there. We're movement locked. Yep. Uh, we're gonna get a crossing penalty, but we do have three thousand more men than them. We do. And, and you've got some more people coming, if that helps. An average leader. Mm, yeah. Mm. <laughs> I mean, there's there's nothing we can do about it now. We're there's absolutely going. not, no. Oh, I um, should have looked. Should have looked better at that. Ah, uh, so should I. That's all right. But I think we'll probably win. Hang on. Oh. Mm, no. I was just seeing if uh, we could get a white piece from Britain. Oh, like a separate white piece. Yeah, if we knock them out, we can take everything we want from East Frisia. Yeah. Okay. Uh, there looks like a no. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> what if we gave them Orkney? <laughs> and <laughs> Our Shetland. Our queen lives in Orkney. Oh, sod her. Oh, no, she lives in Shetland, doesn't she? Yeah. Doesn't she? Anyway, no. <laughs> Certainly not. They don't. They 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 would only take Orkney. Hang on. Suggest offer. Right. Okay. So we could knock Britain out if we gave them oh, Orkney, gave up all our claims in Great Britain. So presumably, what's that? The claim to uh, Sutherland. Sutherland. Didn't even realise we still had Sutherland. Oh, well, our claim on oh, Sutherland. give up claims. Oh, Norway and its subjects give up all claims in Great Britain. Right, sorry. Oh. Okay. So I don't care about that, because we don't have any, and Norway, if they have any, I'm not really bothered about. Great Britain's not a big target at the moment. We pay them 150 ducats. That's a shame. And that's it. I don't like it. I don't like 38,000 times two <laughs> Poland and Lithuania troops coming coming along. Yep. No, I don't like that either. Uh, I mean, we can kick the Brits around, though. Like, we're probably going to win the war in Normandy. I don't think we're going to get them out, though, are we? I'm chasing these guys in Norway. Oh, that's true. If we destroyed them and, and if down. we were lucky in Normandy, we could be all right as well, yeah. I think we could get a positive result. <clears throat> and we've got manpower still. We can. Re shall, shall we start recruiting a couple more units now? We don't have force limit. We've got four more to our force oh, limit. Oh, so we have. Yeah, let's do it. Um, All infantry, or...? Uh, yeah, for now. Great. Just because just they're them. cheapest, right? I'll do them in... Uh... Somewhere safe. Yeah. <laughs> Oh dear. Oh god, we've been going yeah, on this yeah. episode for absolutely ages. What will happen on <laughs> the next episode, y'all? Find out next time. <laughs> Inspired. <laughs>